the the whole thing of my podcast is failure. So we've come to that moment in the podcast where uh, let's talk about failure. Let's talk about how failures have played a role, you know, with where you are today. And then even if you have a story of failure, tell me a good story of failure and the lesson you learned from it. Yeah. So um, I have a lot of story uh, failure stories, but um, the one that I would say like, you know, uh, sticks with me the most, I don't want to say it upsets me the most because I learned so much from it, but the one that sticks with me the most, um, this was several years back. I, I had a great idea to uh, begin a YouTube channel. I already had a YouTube channel, but I wanted to pivot it to be a documentary of me training overweight and obese children. And we would track their, uh, their progress, um, you know, film me training them and, uh, you know, just see their journey, uh, and interview them, interview their parents. And I just had all these ideas and I was like, this is great. And so I had a, uh, a videographer, um, that was recommended to me through friends and, and he would do a lot of things for me, um, you know, at either low or no cost because he believed in what I was doing. And so with this, we were like, you know, we'll get this started. And then once the YouTube channel takes off and we start generating income from it, you know, we'll figure out percentages. So he was filming this for me, you know, for, for free essentially. Um, and so it was great. I, I did kind of spread myself thin. I had three children that I was working with. Um, I believe it was ages nine, 10 and 11 at the time. And one was in, I, I'm, I'm in the New York city area, <clears throat> but one was in Brooklyn. That was really far. They were all just spread all over the place. And, um, and so I did spread myself a little bit thin, but I was making it work. Um, people were really resonating with it. And then what ended up happening was um, the videographer, started dating one of my friends and and when it first happened i said i don't i like this is fine i don't care but all i know is that i want to keep the relationships separate you know you guys have your thing going if anything if you, any arguments i don't want to be involved because this is real this project is really important to me and i want our relationship to remain professional and i i want you know that to be separate from from this um and i was very clear about that um and of course the worst case scenario happened they had a falling out and he basically ghosted me with tons of footage um, that we had that we had taken, mm -hmm. um, you know, to to go forward with the rest of the channel. And so some videos are, are still on my YouTube channel. Um, but the pro progress that the kids were making, he had all those videos and I just never got them. And I and I got really discouraged and I I didn't do um, you know, I never did it again. But here's here's what I here's what I learned. Um, I learned that when I have these, cause that's not the only time that I've had a failure. Um, whenever I have a failure in, in something, when I have this grand idea, I realized that I'll just jump on it without having proper resources. Mm -hmm. I did not have the resources to create a documentary to this capacity that I wanted. I should have waited until I could hire a, a filming crew who knows about documentaries, right? Who knows what they're doing, who can, who could help assist me, um, you know, to really see out my plan. Yes, it was a great idea and I had such good intentions behind it, but the, the delivery failed because I tried to rush rush to it um, emotionally rather than practically, how am I going to tackle this? Um, and so that's what I learned. And, and I did have some other failures after that, but every time I noticed it was that same impulsivity of me trying to just like go ahead with this great idea without seeing it, how is this going to, you know, devising a plan for it to really see, see through. So, um, so yeah, that is my failure story, but I, I do believe some good has come out of it. <laughs> yeah. Well, Rachel, I think that's a really cool idea for a documentary and, uh, it just sucks. It didn't come to fruition, but I, I do think it's admirable because I think it's, it's a very tricky balance. And I know we talked about this before, but, um, like in going after anything, you have to have this level of like, well, I know I'm not going to know everything, but I'm going to go after it. But then you also have to have the balance of, okay, I, ha I have enough to get started and I have enough resources like you talked about that I'm not going to be, you know, left, you know, hanging the bag at the end. So uh, I do think it's very admirable that you just started because a lot of people can't even start. They're just like, well, in, until all the stars align, I'm not doing anything. So I do love that you went out, even though it didn't wind up uh perfect uh and well at the end i think it's cool that you you at least went for it. it's pretty neat